Okay, let's take a look. 17th of March, gold, euro, dollar, Dow Jones, Bitcoin. This is gold. Now, yesterday, it went as high as Wednesday. Now, yesterday, I thought we might get some breakouts, but what happened is it kind of like smashed down here because the aspect for the breakout was going to be around here. So the twist was going to be here and the push was going to be here. So it didn't break upwards, but it break, um, it kind of like went and reversed down. So that's fine. Not a problem. But if you're trading according to Astro Hours, in any case, you can see, right? Once you mark in your zone, this is like, you can see it's a supply zone from Wednesday. And then the market comes up here. Look, that's the Astro Hour. Comes in again. That's the Astro Hour right there. And then pulls back down. Where does it fall until? The next Astro Hours. Look. So it's like bouncing between those two levels. So it's all good. And this is the last one from yesterday. And then, as you can see, it just went up into that. So now we're at an astro hour again. Okay, this zone here. And this is the resistance. So it's fine. Um, what to do? This isn't a very strong one. But it's still okay. It's still giving us a good idea uh, of where things might be going. The important thing is... I'd wait for this one as well, because until we get to this zone here, there's a bit of a touchy-touchy zone there, okay? So wait for this line to be over. Um, and that's basically it. Now, if you take a look at the daily chart, we could break out a little bit, come into this zone, and even move forward and go further up, and that's fine. On the weekly, I don't have much there. On the monthly, as you can see, you know, it's like pretty much above um, at the opening of last month. So it's pretty important level here. Um, it's also a good level to sell. Why? Because on the monthly, it's retesting the high of last month, right? So it could get nice sells from here. So this is why selling at these levels at the top here is okay. On the daily, if it kind of like breaks out in there, you see we've got a lot of room to go. So I wouldn't stand in front of it and be a seller. All right, now this is 73, 73, here's 1933, 1933, all right, so we'll keep this on the radar, 1933 is there, okay, so well, it's nearly done it, look, that's the high, well, pretty much that is 1933, let me see, the high of this bar is 1932.82, so it's pretty much 19. 33. So this zone is a resistance level here, as you can see, right? So selling from here at Astro Hours is not a bad idea at all. Let's take a look at Euro Dollar. You, can, you need to keep your stop loss tight as well. This is the Euro Dollar. Now remember with the Euro Dollar, I said Wednesday is a swing day, Thursday is a swing day. Okay, if you take a look at your Monday, right? Euro Dollar Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So what does that tell you? Wednesday down, Thursday up. <laughs> Looks like Friday we're going to go somewhere. It's going to be a swing again. So it's interesting, isn't it? Sometimes I'm f thinking like, what's going on? All right, so this is it. Now, these were the Astro Hours yesterday. Look at that. Astro Hour here, market sells off. Okay. This is an Astro Hour here on the white line, market goes up. This is an Astro Hour on the weekly, they sell off. Look, that's an Astro Hour, so they sell. This is an Astro Hour, it's kind of going up. This is an Astro Hour, it's kind of going down. I mean, this is just amazing, it is this. So really not, you know, taking financial astrology into your trading is like weird, if you ask me. Anyway, let's take a look here as well. This is the Euro Dollar, right? So let me put a put the aspects here as well. All right, so these are the euro dollar ones, right? So this is how it is. Now look, if we take a look back up here, all right? This is the big four. Remember Wednesday, swing day, boom. Now there's a bit of a gap up here, all right? That gap, well, it's going to be there. So the market has probably got room to go there. And this is a, on this is a 15 minute chart. If you think about it, that's going to be your zone if i do this okay so i'm going to take that into account in the body of the candle all right that's that another thing is okay that's this line here right there's also a gap here and here okay so pretty much up to here there's a gap so we'll have to be careful on the euro dollar if i take a look at the daily let's see where we can get to if there is a limit what's that 60 
1.0786. 1.0786 is like there. Okay, so I'm not going to disregard anything that's on the PST, that's for sure. And the weekly is the 62, it's 1.0812. Okay, 1.0812, that's still out there. Okay. There we go. Um, now, we've got Mars in action until 11.04. So until 11 o'clock bar here, I wouldn't really do anything with it. Okay. And also, because we have a lot of aspects, you know, like this, if it breaks out and then pulls back, you can go long. But if it kind of like goes up and sticking around here, okay, kind of like filling in the gap, let's say, into here, Okay, let's say it fills in the gap all the way into this zone here. Then from this zone, you can think about selling, okay, at Astro Hours, okay? And that's basically it. Because there are a lot of hours as well, we could be going boom, 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 kind of thing like yesterday. See how choppy the market is, but still, if you got your technical analysis levels, and even if you did something crazy, okay, in the chop, chop zone, um, it wouldn't be too bad. It wouldn't have been too bad out. Okay. So for example, if you sold on the weekly period, you bought on the, um, opening, right? So that's the weekly, that's the opening. So let's say you bought on the opening at the astro hour, right? This is the astro hour. So you buy here. All right. Goes up to the weekly and you're thinking, well, wait a minute, this is an astro hour as well, but I get out of the trade here. Right. So am I going to sell? Well, it's a weekly pivot. Why not? And then I sell it off and then like I'm coming down and then this astro hour is happening. Well, what to do? I'm either going to stick it out or put my stop loss forward and see how things pan out. And that would be like tight stop loss. So in any case, you're still pretty much on top of your game. All right. And, um, uh, and you know, coming back to the weekly pivot is obviously something the market often does. Uh, and now going up into this zone to cover it up is also good. So if we get up here, this might be like a level good to sell. If it pulls back into an astro hour to the weekly pivot, it's also good to buy. US 30. Now here we are. Look at US 30. That really panned out well because I said if there's a breakout, it will carry on going up, right? And this is where the breakout happened, right? So if you watch the video, um, I said we've got, you know, this could go both ways. It comes into the Astro Hour, as you can see, right? This is where they sell. This is an Astro Hour. It's the daily pivot, opening pivot. Market comes down to the next Astro Hour. And if you think about it, look, this is the spot where the break happens of this, okay? So the market just simply is coming back to that zone there, okay? This zone here at the astro hour so if you're following it as a technical analyst and you know this is the hour this is like okay that's fair enough let's take a trade here and then it pulls up and then once it pulls up i said be careful for breakouts in the new york session well this is the new york session right it's new york like pretty much morning session happening let's check it out this is the new york morning yeah this is the new york morning session okay so market here in my time 645 market breaking out and going until the end just like i said in the video as well I said if there's a breakout it should go to you know it should go up till the end of the day this is why i had these targets up here as well those targets are still valid i guess um and the closest one is 44 and that's 32 521 uh and then i've got sorry 32 427 521 so i've got here 427 521 so this is your 521 437 30 437 is going to be some well it's pretty much it's pretty much the uh weekly pivot there okay so we should head up into this zone so put your astro hours as usual okay and you know and from these levels it's you know possibly good to sell as well if it sticks around here but like I said, be careful for the 11. Once it's over 11, it's a better opportunity, I reckon. 
and that's basically it now next week we're going to have a special day all right and because it's going to be a special day i think if we end up here somewhere uh, somewhere tonight uh, we should look for sell next week okay on the daily those are the levels let me see what 48 is 32595 so let's put that on there 5 nine five all right so that's that there as well let's take a look at the weekly yeah you see the weekly is just done here okay so we should head up a little bit let's get rid of that what's the low of this bar 32495 well that should take us to there okay so 495520 this should be the zone here okay so this zone should be interesting for us to go short at astro hours so just bring in your 11 let me tell you this 11 40 let's do this or oh, i'll do just 11 45 okay and then One forty five, two fifteen, three forty five, five fifteen. Whoops. All right. So we we'll just have to keep our eyes open for the right place at the right time okay also at 6 57 o'clock is looking good there and yeah and then the close the closing of tonight so we'll see 11 30 there all right so those will be like settled in Basically, if we come up there, we should look for sell. If it comes down here, you can look to buy to go up. If it goes up, look to sell to go down. Obviously, cover the trade in the opening. This is right in the middle. Okay, so try to stay away from the jazz. If it goes up first, it's like okay to sell because we can have a bit of a gap to cover down here as well. Let me just extend this all the way there. Okay, so the market should at least come back to this zone again that's your indecision there okay so this zone is okay to come back to and also obviously look you got to just make sure you understand that there's a gap to cover here as well so the market can push a little bit further down to take some stops out okay so don't be surprised if it does that that's how it is. Let's take a look at Bitcoin Friday. It's back up in there, 26. Obviously, I'm not buying around there. Um, we're hodling, as you guys know, so I don't trade this on a day-to-day basis. But if you did, let me just check this level here. Um, 11.50, that's an astro hour we had, what, from yesterday, right? 11 o'clock we had. So that's fine. And now the breakout here should be with, okay, fair enough. And that should have gone to eight o'clock. Where's the eight o'clock? Oops, that's your eight o'clock there. And then we've got 11.04. So this should go up to 11.04 as well. So yeah, 11.05 somewhere there. Okay, so that's basically that we should be hanging out here as well with this uh, so if you want to do anything don't buy at the tops there okay